Hello, I'm Bob Nalbone. We're here at the Model Railroad Club in Union, New Jersey. And today I'm just going to show a little demonstration about how to hand lay track. A lot of model railroaders get a little bit uptight when you say uh, hand laying track. It's, an art, it's a lost art, but I'm going to show you very easy how we do it here at the club. And the first thing we do is we prepare our road bed. And here at the club we use three-quarter um, plywood followed by five-eighths particle board. And from there we use pine or another soft wood that we contour for the actual road bed itself. And once that's all done, we're ready for the actual uh, ties and rail itself. And what we do here is we have a jig that we will put the ties in. And we do these. Actually, we have our young visitors during our annual show, which comes up every year around Thanksgiving time, to come in and actually do this. And they get a big kick out of actually putting this all together for us. And so we have this actually custom made for us, but you can make one yourself. It's very easy. And we just put the ties all across. And once we finish doing that, we just take a piece of masking tape, put it over it like so. Okay. And then once that's done, we just pull it up. Okay. And it's okay if one or two falls off. And then we roll it up and uh, we store it. And we get a nice supply, and we uh, pretty much um, do that all year. Okay. So once that's done, we're ready for the next step. And the next step is to actually lay out the track. We can do one of our steam locomotives popping off in the distance. So the first thing to do is we need a center line. And we put a center line down so we know where to put the ties down. And if we could turn around over here, this is a section of our hump yard that's going in. Uh, it's going to take us a little while, but you can actually see the center line that we did with the pencil line earlier. And in HO scale, they should be two inch on center, each track. And from there, we unroll the ties, and we will glue them down. So we just unroll one of these, take some white glue, and put it down. And then we'll weight it down, and a you know, half hour the glue will dry. Then we'll gently take up. Uh, the masking tape. Uh, if one tie becomes loose, you see some of them are missing here, we'll just go back individually and put them in place. Okay, and then we are ready for the next step after that. And the next step after that is to actually start putting down the rail. And you could buy uh, the rail, oh, excuse me, there, we can buy the rail um, individually. Same company actually makes flex track. Uh, but you can actually buy the rail separately. This is Microengineering's brand. And what we do here is we find out where we're going to put the first um, rail down, and that's the key. So a couple things you want to do is make sure that this is put down correctly uh, first, the first rail, and you use a straight edge also uh, to do that. And I have a straight edge right over here. Thank you. Okay. And there's a couple tools that are necessary in order to put down track. And the very uh, first tool that you'll need that's the most important is an NMRA gauge. Okay. And you, these are available through the NMRA or through Micromark. We sell them also and um, they're a must to have. Let me borrow one here. So here's the NMRA gauge. It's an invaluable tool to have. Okay. So we decide we want to make sure that um, our first rail, whichever rail is going to be the one we use to, uh, to guide off of, is going to be in reference to the center line that we drew down earlier with the pencil. And we've actually cut a notch in this particular gauge uh, to help us. And sometimes we put a guitar string. Uh, over the center line to uh, make sure that we get it right. And then you just want to line up the first rail. So you always want to make sure that that's straight. Because that will affect all your other work. Uh, Micromark sells a track laying toolkit. You'll want to check that out and get the NMRE gauge. So here are the spikes. They are actually, uh, they look just like real railroad spikes. Got the little head on there. And 
these are also available separately. And the trick is, and the, um, the Micromark track laying uh, pliers uh, has a notch in here that will cover, uh, that will actually fit in there. And in fact, this one does. Okay, so we basically just find where we want to start. Usually we want to start at the end, make sure that it's nice and up against our straight edge. And I'm simply going to grip it very tightly. And you can uh, st use a pilot hole if you're finding that the wood is a little bit too tough, uh, too tough and the uh, spike bends. But you, you can see this one's going in pretty good. All the way down. You see how uh, bent on me like that? So if that happens, uh, I drill a pilot hole, usually number 76, and I'll get another spike. Now, another thing is to make sure your spikes are very sharp. You want to make sure you get good, good spikes. Every once in a while we run into a, uh, a supply of spikes that aren't very sharp and they're prone to bending. Okay, so let's see if I can get this one in. That one's cooperating a little bit more. And we spike it. Then our club standard here is to put a spike in every fourth tie. Okay. Look out. One, two, three, and there's the fourth one, and I'll do the same thing. Just like so. And when you're starting out uh, laying your own track, you definitely want to start with straight track. It is much easier, you get a better technique. Then go to curves and then uh, do turnouts, which is a whole different technique altogether. Okay. So then we do the other side. And what I like to do is I'll skip a little bit. Once I have several uh, spikes in, I'll skip a little bit. I just want to make sure I'm all the way, keeping my first rail straight. Because remember, that's going to affect all your work. It's very easy if you're not careful and take the time to go off center line. Um, another thing you can do is you can just, from time to time, uh, just uh, eyeball it, see if everything is nice and straight. And then we're ready for the second rail. Second rail. Again, line it up. The gauge now becomes really critical at this point. And we have these little, on the, on the NMRA gauge, you see these little, little tabs right here. And it says track, and that's where you want the inside of your rail to be. So, see if I can get this here. Being left-handed, I'll come from the wrong side here. Okay, so I will line it up like so. There you go, it's close enough. And again, I'll start with the spiking every fourth tie. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's, uh, that's very quickly how it's done. Um, the key again, keep to your center line. Make sure that uh, your first rail is straight. And then uh, over here we spike every fourth tie. And, and that's it. And that, that's